So today, we have DCEU's Aquaman taking on the MCU's Hulk. Who wins? Let's find out. So, as always, strength and physicality. Who is stronger? Well, Hulk is. Yeah, plain and simple. He's routinely overpowered Thor and sent the God of Thunder flying. He absolutely destroyed Loki, throwing him all around. Nearly choked Abomination to death with a chain. Sent Ultron flying hundreds of meters away, possibly even miles away uh, with a punch. Held up a piece of the Avengers HQ with just one arm after being severely injured. Suplex Fenris the Wolf. Destroyed parts of the Hawkbuster armor and ragdolled it around. He was able to stagger Thanos with his blows. Stagger Surtur with a punch. And one shot a Leviathan. But that doesn't mean Arthur won't be able to hang with the Hulk. Because he definitely can. He's incredibly strong. Uh, probably on par with Wonder Woman. Um, he was able to casually lift a boulder. Punch, punch his Black Manta hard enough to break stone. Break the Ocean Master's trident. Send Steppenwolf flying. A few times. Uh, nearly overpowered four Atlanteans trying to restrain him. Uh, lift a giant torpedo with just one arm easily. And he lifted a massive submarine to the surface of the water. This submarine was massive. Granted, he was underwater. Still impressive. He's not as strong as the Hulk, but he can definitely hang with the Hulk. Uh, the same thing goes for durability, as Hulk is tougher as well. Like, Arthur withstood a direct grenade launcher shot and Black Manta's heat vision with no lasting injury, which is impressive due to his physiology. A sword couldn't even pierce his skin. He was unfazed when he crash-landed through a building and being tackled through stone structures. Uh, he withstood a punch from Superman that sent him flying, hits from Steppenwolf that also sent him flying, and an accidental speed blitz from the Flash. Just the mere fact that he survived traveling in a desert, despite his physiology making him weak to the very hot and dry climate, is very impressive. But, yeah, Hawk is more durable. He withstood a barrage of Tatari Blaster fire, a massive fall, being sent flying by Thor and the Hawkbuster armor, hits from Awakened Thor, being mauled around by Fenris, only angered him, and being tackled downward through a massive construction building. He's actually only been knocked out twice, once by the Hawkbuster armor, and the other by Thanos. He also survived snapping with the Infinity Gauntlet, which permanently messed up his arm, and it's arguably the greatest MCU durability feat from a hero besides Thor's star feat. Uh, it was also said that he was the only hero that could have survived snapping with the Infinity Gauntlet. No one else could have. Not Thor, not Captain Marvel, only him. So yeah, Hawk is definitely more durable than Aquaman. And with speed... Well, Arthur is definitely faster in the water, without a doubt. There's no debating that. Hawk's probably just as fast as you or you or me in the water. Maybe a little faster, but you get what I'm saying. Aquaman is definitely faster in the water. But when it comes to combat, I'd say Arthur is roughly on par with Thor, which is a little faster than Hawk, but nothing Hawk hasn't dealt with before. Not to mention, Hawk isn't slow by any means. He can run surprisingly fast, and he even caught a missile with his hands. So, Hulk is overall physically better. Now, obviously, Aquaman is the more skilled fighter. He's been extensively trained since a young age and using a trident. Uh, he did well against his brother in their ceremonial duel for the throne. He would, he would go on to beat him in their second fight at the end of the movie. He also bested Black Man Manta, who had specifically trained and prepared to fight and kill Aquaman. But something I think is important to note is that Hawk was the Grandmaster's undefeated gladiator champion for two years. So although he has no real skill, he does have gl gladiator combat experience. 
But now I want to change focus. I want to focus on Arthur's trident. Uh, it is known as the Sacred Trident as it belonged to the ancient king of Atlantis, Atlan. It proved to be more powerful than Orm's trident as it was, and it was able to injure Steppenwolf. But can it hurt Hulk? Well, yeah. Even if he's using it as a blunt weapon or a piercing weapon, yeah, it definitely can hurt Hulk. Hulk's been sent flying by Mjolnir. And his skin has been pierced by Abomination's Bone Shard and Fenris the Wolf's Tooth. So yeah, this trident will definitely hurt Hulk. But will it do enough damage? Maybe, but I don't think so. Uh, not to mention, it seems that the Hulk has a healing factor to some degree. Like, we all saw Hulk's leg get pierced by Fenris's uh, tooth, right? He was even bleeding. But a few minutes later, when he attacked Surtur, he showed no sign of pain and the wound was gone altogether. So, who wins? Well, Hawk is. He's stronger, he's tougher, he's surprisingly fast, and he's just beaten more powerful foes than Aquaman. Uh, Arthur could win if he got Hawk in the water for sure. No debate there. Uh, but this is definitely happening on land, which Hawk is definitely going to win. Arthur just isn't quite on that same level as Hawk yet. Uh, one day, he might be, uh, but as of now, he's not. So, and at the end of the day, Hawk is winning after a good fight. Hawk wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you think and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. Now, the great stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.